Everybody. We are back at Keith Tech. It is January 5th, Saturday. And if you're not watching playoff games, we are here for Hopkinton Hillers versus Natick. This is an all boys meet this weekend. And uh, that's all that we're going to have. This is not co ed. So we'll just have the boys swim in this evening. So we're going to see a lot of the young freshmen swimmers as we get ready to start the meet. A little late getting started here. So lane two, we're gonna have uh, two relays for uh, Hopkinton. They're gonna be in lanes two and four. That's Zach Holbrow and Blake Bryan are starting. Lane two is gonna be Zach Holbrow, Pierce Farrell, Sean Haley, and Connor Murchie. Lane four is Blake Bryner, Sam Coney, Tyler Holbrow, and Aditya Duda. 200 meter lead ray is 50 yards each of back, breast, butterfly, and freestyle. Natick boys jump out to a quick lead in the center of the pool, lane two, or lane three rather, as we go into the breaststroke. Hopkinton sits right now in second place. Sam Cody's got a little bit of a race on his hand. Pierce Farrell closest to us. So Sam Cody, Pierce Farrell. Cody trying to hold on to second position right now as he hunts down chases the Natick swimmer. Natick's going to be pro tough meet tonight. A lot of swimmers. Good opportunity for some of the Hopkinton boys to get into the pool. Turning over in the center of the pool, it's Tyler Holbrow and Sean Haley going in shortly in lane two. Tyler Holbrow like to a great start in lane three. Uh, he's got a bead on uh, the Natick swimmer. Opened himself up quite a bit as far as the putting himself in clearly in second position as Natick looks like they're going to win this relay as they've got a half a lap lead. Aditya Dota goes in in the center of the pool. Closest to us is Sean Haley on the fly. He's moving himself into fourth position. Aditya Dota, the anger leg in the center of the pool. Now Connor Murchie goes in in lane two. Nada Cruz is in the center of the pool. Aditya Jutta with a great final swim. As Hopkinton takes second. Nada takes first and third. Connor Murchie is going to bring it in in fifth position. So the 200 meter lead ray is in the books. We're going to take one quick break. We got a little bit of a technical difficulty. And uh, we'll be right back for the 200 freestyle. Are you worried about letting your child take the wheel? Maybe you should also be worried about what you're doing behind the wheel. Have you ever sent a quick text just this once? Well, that might turn into a catastrophic accident. Monkeys see what monkey do. If you do it, why wouldn't your child? In a child's brain, almost all things their parents do, they can do too. 78% of teen drivers' surveys text and drive. 59% said their parents do it too. Stop texting and driving, because if you do it, your yeah, child will too. There we go, we're back. Some technical, uh, technical difficulties here up in the booth. So we're going to get ourselves ready for the, uh, the 200... Oh, no, I'm sorry. It looks like we've got a Natick, Natick uh, second heat, which I was not aware of. So we're just going to let you watch this race. Uh, there were not a ton of announcing here. We'll get caught up on sort of our organization here. As I said, January 5th, we are here at um, Keith Tech. And we are here for just a boys meet. So this is not a co-ed meet. Uh, this is just this is just a um, a meet for the boys. So you're going to see a lot of swims from uh, the Hopkinton boys. As uh, coach is going to have an opportunity to get a, a lot of the uh, swimmers in the pool if they have not made it into some of the uh, some of the meets earlier on the co-ed meets, which are a little bit harder to get uh, swimmers into. Uh, because one of the lanes is going to be taken up by the female swimmers because they swim both boys and girls. Anyways, so Natick 
native boys come in, strong team. They're going to have a lot of depth, uh, and these guys are going to be quick. So Hopkinton's going to have its hands full. As you can see already, Natick has put five relays out for the 200 medley relay. A lot of swimmers getting out into the pool. So a lot of depth on this Natick side. And you can see on the boys' side, without all the girls, when it's just down to the boys' team, uh, greatly reduced numbers on the boys. They run about uh, 20 on the boys' side. But we're going to end up seeing a fair amount of swimmers. Natick swimmers out there in the middle of the pool. Hopkinton's going to be swimming, swimming in lanes two, four, and six. So right now, like I said, we're just watching Natick put a couple of relays out there. Interesting fun fact for this particular meet on the sidelines. <clears throat> if Raj has a chance, glad to have Raj. Raj, Raj back on the uh, on the microphone and the camera again. Raj, welcome back. Thank you, Kelly. Missed him for a couple of. Uh, a couple of times in regards to uh, an illness. We had a couple of folks in on the camera. But if we go to the Natick sideline, you'll see a familiar face down there. Sam Thine, whose brother uh, Colin Thine, captain of the uh, boys team. Sam Thine, graduate of Hopkinton High School in 2012, was also a swimmer and captain of the uh, girls' side when she was here. She was one of the coaches of on the Natick side. So. If she looks familiar, that is why. Welcome back to Sam. So it's very familiar being back here at Keith Tech. Must be kind of a thrill to be coaching against your younger brother. Anyways, let's get ourselves into the 200 freestyle. Two free is going to be Andrew Delevin lean two. We're going to have Ritesh Rajanigan in lean four. And we're going to have Ryan Deleva. He's going to be up in lean six. So, Natick jumps out to a quick lead. They took first and third in the uh, relays, both of the scoring. Uh, relay scoring will be 6 4 2, first three places. Individual, uh, individual events are going to be uh, 6 4 3 2 1, first five positions. Clean start for the 200 free as we get Andrew Gillette closest to us for Tesh Rosanigan in the middle of the pool. And Andrew Ryan Deleva up top. Native swimmers out to a quick start. Lanes three and five for Natick are leading with Tesh Rosanigan in the center of the pool in lane four giving chase. Lane one also swimming strongly for Natick. Natick in the first two positions, chased by Rajanigan and Deleva. And up top, that's Ryan Deleva. So we get the Deleva brothers, Andrew and Ryan. Andrew the junior, Ryan the freshman, Tesh Rajanigan, center of the pool. Not sure if he's swum the 200 free yet this season, but he's out there giving it a go. So right now, Hopkinton sitting in third and fourth. Andrew Deleva with a race on his hands, trying to hold himself into that fourth position. Natick out easily in front and leans three and five in first and second position. Two swimmers pretty easily matched as they take the final turn, or the next turn rather, towards the 150. With Tesh Rosanigan giving chase in the center of the pool, lean four, swimming a nice race. Up top in lean six, that's Ryan Deleva. Closest to us is Andrew Deleva trying to hang on keep himself in fourth position. As they turn for the final 50, Natick lane five and one, lane lane three and two, with Tesh Rajanigan in lane four, sitting currently in third position. Andrew Deleva takes the turn. Let's see if he can hold on to fourth position. Crucial points here early on in the meet. As Natick showing a lot of their depth and speed taking both first and second. They're going to cruise pretty easily here. Lane five takes a first. Lane three takes second with Tesh Rosanigan. He's holding on to second. Andrew Deleva being challenged in lane two. Andrew Deleva, let's see what he's got. He needs to kick. He's getting past. With Tesh Rosanigan comes in, Andrew Deleva's going to get touched out. Tough race there for Andrew Deleva in lane two. Just didn't have enough at the end. Good swim by the native swimmer in lane one, and that's Ryan Deleva up top. Let's not forget about Ryan up there with a good swim coming in at sixth. So Hopkinton takes uh, third and fifth. 
Going to have to see how this meet progresses as the swimmers swim down. Get ourselves ready for the 2 IM. Going to see a lot of the freshmen, a lot of the freshman swimmers as we run through, as we run through the uh, the lineup. You're also going to see some swimmers probably some, swimming some things they haven't swam yet this uh, this season to get ready for the 2 IM. In lane two is going to see Ray Lucas. Lane four is going to see Colin Vine. And lane six is going to see Kevin Gu. I believe this is his first time. It might also be Captain Colin Vine's first time as well. A Dolfino in the center of the pool. So Nadek out to an early lead here. Hawking can give him chase. Let's see what we can do in the 2 a.m. Good team here in Nadek. A lot of depth, some strong swimmers. Clean start. 2 IM is two laps each to fly back, breast, and free. <coughs> Nadick and Hopkinton, six across the turn. That's Ray Lucas and Colin Fine. Ray Lucas close to Susan Lean, two. Colin Fine in the center of the pool. Boys are holding their own. They look pretty strong right now. Nadick up to a little bit of a, open up a little early lead, center of the pool. Body length lead. Lucas touches first, Thine second. As we head into the backstroke and up top, Kevin Gu hanging on. Looks solid up there, the young freshman. Lucas, Thine. It's Lucas in lane two as we're in the backstroke. Colin Thine, center of pool taking the turn. Nadek opening up a two body length lead in the center of the pool, lane three. It's gonna be a battle for second and third position. Hopkinson right now holding Second and third, Fine is in second. Ray Lucas is in third, being challenged in lane one. Important relay here up top, that's Kevin Gu. That's here we go, turning into the breaststroke. Fine, Lucas, second and third, as Lucas begins to open up a little bit of a lead against his competitor in, this, in lane one. Nadek is well in front, half a Half a pull length ahead and a breast stroke. Probably not going to be caught. Colin Fine holding his own. Ray Lucas has opened up a little bit of a uh, lead in lane two, which is good. He's moved himself clearly in the third position. It's going to be tough. He's got to be hold on, hold on in the in the freestyle. Kevin Gu up top. He's pushing hard. If he can get a fifth out of this, that'd be awesome. He's got some uh, some uh, work to do. Time. Vine takes a turn, Lucas takes the turn, opening up a lead. Colin Fine, Ray Lucas, second and third. Kevin Gu up top, trying to move himself in the fifth position if he can. Nadek is going to win pretty easily. Swimmer coming in in the 2 IM, Nadek takes first. Colin Fine and Ray Lucas in second and third position. Ray Lucas, a nice, nice breaststroke, put himself Ahead of the challenging native swimmer as Colin Fine comes in. He takes second. Lucas takes third. Kevin Gu just doesn't quite have enough to get himself into position for any points for Hopkinton. He will take six. So Native takes one, four, and five. Hopkinton takes second and third. They will do all right taking seconds and thirds all night long. Um, second, third, and fourth would actually be a little bit better. Uh, they don't have to win every race, but they do have to get some depth and put some points up on the board. So we're going to get ready for the 50 freestyle. Looks like we have a couple of heats of this. I'm not sure what the second heat's going to run. Oh, I do have it. We're actually going to run three heats of the 53. So they get ready to swim or swim down. Cold and rainy Saturday here at Keith Tech. Nicely, uh, nicely attended by Hopkinton and Native parents. As we enter into the playoff season in football, if you're not at home watching football, you might be out here watching the meet. So like I said, this is just a boys meet tonight. Hopkinton boys swimming solo. A lot of girls here on the sidelines cheering their fellow swimmers on. Most of the season, Hopkinton swims co-ed which means that both men and women are swimming together. 
the depth of the women's team helps quite a bit in those co-ed meets, so this will be interesting to see how the Hopkinton men position themselves where they have just a meet on their own. And then coming up, the girls will have it, an invitational down at Brown. Eight swimmers are going to go down to the Brown facility, swim against some very, very good competition. That's an invite only. Coach Jeff Libby, second year head coach for Hopkinton, has chosen to take eight women down with them. Coach Libby assisted by Coach Karen Terry, longtime assistant. She's been on the sidelines for over 15 years, if not longer than that. But Jeff Libby having another good season. Hopkinton 2 and 1 in the Tri Valley League. They're going to get ready for the 50 freestyle. First heat's going to see Tyler Holbrow, Teacher Duda, and Connor Murchie. This will be our scoring heat. Watch the center of the pool, Dietzer Ditter, who's been swimming some great sprints these days. Nada kills out to a quick lead on the nice start. Hopkinton challenging and leaned forward to Dietzer Ditter. Good turn. It's all about the turn and the start. Good turn in the center of the pool by Nada. Nada opening up a lead. Ditter really, really pressing for third or second position. It's going to be Nadek. Nadek, ooh, Nadek swept, unfortunately, it looks like. Nadek might have gone one, two, three as Duda took fourth. And uh, Holbrow took, Tyler Holbrow took fifth up top. That was Connor Murchie. Going to have another heat of the 53. It's going to see Jack Brennan, Fletcher Clark, and Sam Cody. Jack Brennan, the diver. Fletcher, the, the catch Clark. And Sam, the man bun, Coney. All having a good season this year. 53 exhibition gives these guys a little chance to get warmed up. Cody is one of the better breaststrokers on Hopkinton's team, so we will see him uh, again a little bit later on. It looks like he's being used in a couple different areas. Swimmers swim down. Like I said, we're going to have two more heats of the 50 free. This heat's going to see Jack Brennan, Fletcher Clark, and Sam Cody. Final heat will feature Ryan DeLeva, Sean Haley, and Pierce Farrell. Haley and Farrell, both freshmen, getting a chance to get some time in the pool. After the freestyle, we'll take a quick break, and then we'll head into the diving. Diving is going to see Jack Brennan, Liam McGinnis, and Nick Capalis on the board. Brandon's going to get himself a little chance to warm up here. Watch him closest to us in lane two. Jack Brennan in lane two. Fletcher Clark up in lane four. And Sam Cody in lane six. Nice start by Nadek in the center of the pool. Jack Brennan, good long strokes. Good turn. Six across. Down last 25 to 53. Uh, Brennan challenging for first. Nadek in lane one up in front. Brennan sitting in third right now. Sam Cody up top. It's going to be Natick one, Natick two. Brennan, Cody, Natick, and Clark. Good swims all the way across. These guys are looking for times in the second heats. They're looking for time, not necessarily for place. Personal bests and things of that nature. All trying to qualify for sectionals and states. Hopkinton season will culminate on Super Bowl Sunday, February 3rd, right back here at Keith Tech. As we will feature the Tri-Valley League. If you've never been, that's a four-hour meet, league championship meet, multiple heats. It's the meet where Hopkinton's depth really uh, comes to play as the depth that they can put out there, uh, getting points in several facets as you score one through 20. Last heat here. Lane two, Ryan DeLeva. Lane four, Sean Healy. Lane six, Pierce Farrell. Center of pool, Natick out to a quick start. Lane one, lane three, Natick turn. The swimmers take closest to us. It's Ryan DeLeva, Sean Healy, Pierce Farrell. Up top, it's Sean Haley giving chase. Sean Haley with a nice race, challenging in the center of pool. Haley pushing. Haley. Just touched out, closest to us, Ryan DeLeva. And up top, that's Pierce Farrell. Nice swim in the center of the pool by Sean Haley. Freshman swimmer, giving chase to Natick. 
That's going to be it for the 50 free, which means we're going to get ourselves ready for diving. This is where we swim down. What we will do is we'll see if we can get a score in uh, an early score here. So, Raj, I think we'll take a quick break. Okay. Give our uh, folks a chance to get something to eat, get something to drink as we get ourselves ready for diving. We'll be back shortly. So what are the signs of an opioid overdose, and how can I recognize that somebody is experiencing one? Well, they're actually pretty easy to spot. A person who is experiencing an overdose may appear confused and have a decreased level of consciousness and alertness. They also may have constricted pupils. When you see somebody who's experiencing an overdose, the number one most important thing to do first is to call 911. Next, do rescue breathing. And finally, take out your naloxone kit and administer the naloxone. Naloxone comes in an easy to use package with instructions for how to use it. Each box of naloxone may look different. They're all very easy to use and you do not need medical training in order to use it. So who should have nasal naloxone? Well, everybody should have it to help a loved one who may be suffering from a substance abuse disorder or just to help a stranger in need. Obtaining naloxone is easy. You can obtain it from your doctor, from a pharmacy standing order, or from any of the Department of Public Health sites. By just following these simple steps, you might just be able to save a life. And, and we're back. Just let the announcers here finish up. We do have a score after the 50 freestyle. Natick 44, Hopkinton 18. See if we can make up some ground here in the diving. And got out to a good start this, uh, this afternoon. Natick diver up on the board. Back dive, half twist. Hopkinton is going to put Jack Brennan, Liam McGinnis, and Nick Apollos up on the board. There's the first diver for Hopkinton, Nick Apollos. Nick will do the same dive, back dive, one half twist. Nice dive by Nick. Nice dives. So Natick counters with three divers of their own. Hopkinton puts three up, like I said. Captain Jack Brennan, Liam McGinnis, and Nick Capals. So I was trying to get a little bit of information on the swimmers and divers. Understood, understand Liam McGinnis, who's next up on the board. Great sense of humor. So, don't know on that one, but. Young yeah, man's apparently got a nice sense of humor. So, Liam McGinnis, first dive. Nice looking dive, back. A half twist, back one. Good score, five and a half, six and a half. Nice show by Liam McGinnis. Jack Brennan. Oh, oh Natick, so we're going to alternate. It'll be uh, Natick, Hopkinton, Natick, Hopkinton, Natick, Hopkinton. Natick, Stiver. Forward. One and one in the open position with a full twist. Five and a half, six and a half, five and a half. As we have before, we've got Kate Legassi and Kayla McCann down there announcing on the diving. Divers are going to have six dives. So we're going to be here for a little while. Captain Jack. Jack Brennan with his first dive. Oh, great looking dive. This should be a six and a half or seven. Seven score, six and a half, six and a half, six and a half. 
There you go. Six and a half across the board. Bingo, Jack Lynn. So I believe the divers have already qualified. A lot of them have already qualified for states. Diving team has been doing a great job this year. Very consistent. Native diver up. There's second dive. Four, five and a half, five, five and a half. Nice, nice dives across. Nick Kapalos gets ready for his set dive. <coughs> so we saw Nick Kapalos and Liam McGinnis diving the other night in the Holliston meet. Hopkinton one handily there, co ed meet. So you got a little practice on the board. Is three and a half in force. Tough score. A little bit short coming in. On the dive. But a nice, nice dive by the young man. Nadix diver. Forward two. It's going to be a little bit tight. Didn't quite untuck as he was spinning. A little over rotated. Not sure about the five. Good rotation. Just kind of landed as a cannonball. That's all right. Liam McGinnis up on the board for his second dive. Forward one and a half, pike position, nice dive. Should go into five and a halves. Yep. So in case those judges ever need somebody, I'll be willing to step in. we will doing this for a while. We've all quieted our phones here. We have our golf voice on. Nadix Diver. Wow, well, good looking dive. He just left it a little bit short coming in. He had the height. Four, five and a half, six, seven and a half. Yeah. No, it was not a seven and a half. That, that score's off. That was not a seven and a half. So I'm sorry. It's a nice dive. He just left it short coming in. He had the height. It's a good looking dive. He just didn't open up at the end. Came in with his uh, with his legs trailing. Jack Brennan's next dive. Uh, just left that one a little bit short. If that last dive was a seven and a half, that's a seven and a half. Five, five, yeah. Great height by Jack Brennan on that dive. Jack Brennan, senior cap, captain will attend Norwich University next year. Nadix diver up on the board. Again, a little over rotated going in, probably four and a half. Four, five and a half, five, five. Yeah. Very generous. Not a lot of consistency among the uh, among the uh, judges here. Up on the board. Nice looking dive by Nick. Should be a five and a half, six. There you go. Good score. Nice dive by Nick. Good rotation. Good entry into the pool. Got himself opened up. So we'll prepare after the diving for the second half of the meet, which is going to feature the 100 fly, 100 freestyle, 500 freestyle. To wait for the native diver. Steadies himself in the back of the board. Oh, nice, nice reverse two. Open position. Nice job. Stuff. Five, five, now we put that in the sixth category. That was a good looking dive. My man got good height, good rotation. So we'll go to the 100 fly, 100 free, 5 free. And then hit some more relays. Liam McGinnis steps up to the back of the board. End of the board. Liam McGinnis with his third dive. Inward one. Or inward half, rather. Inward dive. Five and a hook across the board. Nice dive by Liam McGinnis. Nadix 
Next Ivor steps up to the end of the board. This is uh looks like it's gonna be a good competition. These guys are all diving very well. Inward one, a little short, a little short of vertical coming in. Inward one and a half. Yeah, uh, put that in the five and a half, six. It's good scores. Consistency now amongst the judges. Let's see what Jack Brennan's got for us. So the same dive here by Jack. As we said earlier, Jack's going to attend Norwich which University in Vermont. Oh, beautiful dive. There's a, that's a seven and a half or eight all day long. Yeah. There you go. Great looking dive. Jack gets great height. Got himself vertical coming into the water. No splash. Could have scored a little bit higher. I think the judges are just trying to moderate this a little bit. Nadix diver. Actually, very, very nice for a back dive. Should be five and a half, six. Yeah, good scores. That was a nice looking dive. Those are hard to pull off. The divers tend to leave it short. Did a nice job getting himself vertical. He's getting the Kapalas at the end of the board now. Nick with his fourth dive. Number one. A little bit, a little bit, uh, good scores for Nick. He's having well. Gets good rotation. Not quite vertical coming in, but nice looking dive. He's got some time to work on it. Reverse one. Tough dives. As we've said before when we announced, those dives are difficult. Your momentum is moving you forward, and yet you've got to Swing your legs up and get yourself reversed. Difficult dives. Liam against the end of the board. Inward one. Yep, five straight across. Oh, there's a good dive. Now that's a seven and a half. That's a seven and a half. Yes. There's a good dive. Much better than the other one. Got himself vertical. Young man gets good height. I think it's going to be a race between Jack and the native diver. Jack gets himself up to the for his fourth dive. Heads to the end of the board. Like I said, we had a score earlier. Hopkinton trailing. 44-18. Really nice looking inward again. That's a seven, seven and a half. Not quite vertical going in, but a good looking dive. Yeah. I'm gonna put that a little bit higher. But Okay. Degree of difficulty is going to bring those scores up. Nadix diver to the end of the uh, end of the board. Uh, nice, nice back flip in the layout. Good looking dive. Good competition on the board today. Challenges all around for Hopkinton's boys here from Nadix. Fifth dive for Nick. And after the dive, we'll get another score update. Five across the board for young Nick. Diver. <coughs> the end of the board. I 
Six, five and a half, five and a half. Six, five and a half, cross. Dive. Good, good height, good rotation. Good scores by the judges. Six, six and a half. And Liam looking good. Nick looking good. Jack Brennan looking good. Young man on the board now from Navik has been given, uh, giving Jack Brennan a run. Good scores on his last dive. Great form. Nice layout. Seven. Six and a half or seven anyways. Four, six, seven and a half, six and a half. Yeah. Seven and a half a little bit generous, but that was definitely a seven. Nice dive. This would be a big dive for Jack. Back two somersaults in the tuck. If he can open this up and land it. Let's see what he's got. coming in. Nice dive though. Should be six and a half. It's good high degree difficulty. Yeah, I'm not sure about the five and a half. That was a six. It's just a little short coming in. Good rotation. Look good. Last dive for the first native diver. That was a very nice looking dive. It should score six and a half. That's a good looking dive. Nick's going to end with a back somersault tuck. 1.5 degree difficulty. Nice dive as well. Should get sixes, five and a half, sixes. Yep. Really good showing by Nick Apollos tonight. Final dive for Natick. Oh, lost a little bit of control there at the end. Probably four, three and a half or four. The, see if the judge is going to confer. See if that was a completed dive. That's what the question is. I'm not sure where the five came from. Not sure where that. It was probably three and a half. It looked like they were di discussing whether or not that might have been a completed dive. A lot of rotation, lost a little control coming in the water. Liam McGinnis. Held on to that tuck a little bit too long, maybe, but uh, opened up just at the end. Uh, I'd say the five range is right. The judges are all over the board right now. It's not a lot of agreement, but that's okay. Navix final dive here. This is going to count. Let's see what this. Oh, nice two and a half. Just a little short in the entry. That should be a six and a half. Final dive. Let's see what he's got. This, this could. Oh, just a little bit shorter, unfortunately. Same dive as the other dive, but it left a little bit short. Yeah, that was a five and a half. The, uh, good rotation, just didn't open up enough. This is going to be a close one on the diving for uh, Hopkinton and. Uh, Hopkinton and Natick will await the results in a moment. Quick score update, Indianapolis 21, Houston 0. For those of you watching at home, Colts taking it to the Texans. We're going to take a quick break. We'll come back with a score update of the meet here. Join us for a moment.
Are you worried about letting your child take the wheel? Maybe you should also be worried about what you're doing behind the wheel. Have you ever sent a quick text just this once? Well, that might turn into a catastrophic accident. Monkey see what monkey do. If you do it, why wouldn't your child? In a child's brain, almost all things their parents do, they can do too. 78% of teen drivers' surveys text and drive. 59% said their parents do it too. Stop texting and driving, because if you do it, your child will too. We're back as we get to the announcement of the diving. See if we can get the results here. Nick Paulus in sixth place, I believe. Wait for some announcements. Nick scores 135 for the six dives. Nadek takes fifth place. <laughs> Liam takes fourth place. Liam McGinnis. Nadek takes third. Oh, tough one for Jack Brennan. He's going to get edged out. Yeah, that was still pick a little bit closer as Nadek takes first. Jack uh, Brennan getting beat out. A um, couple of questionable scores on the Natick side, not to cry about the referees, but hey, it's football season, so why not? Anyways, we're going to get ourselves ready for the second half of the meet. Uh, diving's been completed. So Hopkinton takes second, fourth, and sixth in the diving. Not going to help them as much as we hoped, but good showing. Nice dives by Jack Brennan. 100 fly in the water now. Alex Matsuk is closest to us, Tyler Holbrow in the center of the pool, and Ray Lucas up top. Straight across the pool, six swimmers take the turn, the first, the first turn, center of the pool, Holbrow, Matsuk is closest to us in lean two, and up top, Ray Lucas. Made it out to a little bit of a lead, half a body length, but it's still a close race, that's Tyler Holbrow in the center of the pool, giving chase, closest to us, Matsukas. Up top, that's Ray Lucas. Ray Lucas holding on to fifth. Important points if Ray can hold on to fifth. That's good. Tyler Holbrow giving chase as Nadek has opened up a little bit of a lead in first and second place. Giving chase in the center of the pool. Tyler, Hol Tyler Holbrow holding third position. Fourth position is Alex Matsukas and Ray Lucas in fifth. Holbrow chasing. Can he catch? Holbrow is going to fall a little bit short as Nadek takes one, two. Tyler Holbrow comes in with a nice swim in the center of the pool, takes third. Closest to us, that is Alex Matsukas in fourth. And up top, Ray Lucas with a nice showing in sixth position. In fifth position, rather. So Hopkinton goes three, four, five. Nadek takes one, two. Good swims all across the board. We turn a page here and get to our second page of events. 100 freestyle. Quick race here. Four laps of the pool free. We're going to see Tyler Fallon, Colin Fine, and Sean Haley in lane six. Hopkins is swimming in two, four, and six. Natick is in one, three, and five. Natick's looked good so far, taking first or first, second, and third in most of the races thus far. Hopkinton looking for the first win. We we're hoping we might get in the diving. Jack Brennan get edged out by the Natick Diver. Not sure that I agree with some of the scores, but it is what it is. Nothing we can do about it now. It is in the books. But uh, a nice showing on the diving board. Ray McGinnis, Nick Capalis rounding out the swimmers. Nick taking sixth. Liam taking fourth. 100 free, quick race, center of the pool, Colin Fine, closest to us. Tyler Fallon, Sean Haley in lane six. 
Nadek out to a quick start in lanes one and three. Center of the pool and three, that's needed. Lane one is Nadek to the chase right now. That is Fallon, Fine. Colin Fine trying to move himself in the third position. He goes in, trying to chase for second. Nadek out front, Fine, and Fallon up top is Sean Haley. Hopkinton's got to get a, get a move on here. Fine. Fine in lane four. Nadek's going to take one. Fine's going to have to push to take third. He's not going to get second, but he's going to hold on to take third. Good show by Colin Fine. Nadek takes one, two, and four. That is uh, Tyler Fallon coming in in lane two. And up top, Sean Haley coming in in sixth position, lane six to swim or swim down. Nate freestyles are pretty strong. They go one and two. Fine looked like he might have a chance there in the center of the pool to move himself in the second position. Nate clearly dominant out front in lane three for an early lead that he held on to. But uh, Fine was unfortunately de denied. He's got his big sister, Sam Fine, as we mentioned, to thank for that. She's one of the Nita coaches. Nita looks like they've got uh, three or four folks over there on the coaching staff. Good group. Good team here tonight. Hopkinton facing a challenge here by Nita. So far, Nita looks to be pretty dominant, but let's see what the second half of the meet takes. We're going to get ourselves ready for the 500 free. Hopkinton's going to put Blake Briner, Zach Holbrow, and Andrew DeLeva into the pool. Natick will counter in lanes one, three, and five with their swimmers. 500 freestyle, 20 laps of the pool. This is a long and grueling race. After the 100 fly, 64-30 to Natick. Hopkinton's got some ground to make up. Oh, oh. A little bit quick on the start here. But we've got, we're missing a couple of lap counters. Interesting start there. It looked like the ref should have actually stood the, stood the swimmers up. And anyways, they are off. It's a clean start. 500 freestyle, like I said. That's 20 laps of the pool. Brian or Holbrow and Andrew DeLeva. Hopkinson out to an early lead and leans two and four. That's Blake Bryan and Zach Holbrow holding a half a body length lead. Nice long stroke by Blake Bryan and lean two. Zach Holbrow, the grinder in the center of the pool. Love the way that young man swims. Senior captain, Zach Holbrow. Younger brother, Tyler. Tend to get them confused. Both good swimmers. And up top, let's not forget about Andrew DeLeva. Andy. Andy. We'll call him Andy tonight. I'm not sure if parents would approve, but we're calling Andrew DeLeva. Andy, Andy DeLeva. Andrew up top in six. Open up a little bit of lead in the center of the pool. That's Zach Holbrow. Blake Briner, they turn their first hundred quarter of the way through. And then the lap five. Nice lead right now. Hopkinton looking for the first win of the evening. That's Zach Holbrow in the center of the pool. Blake Briner closest to us. And up top, that is Andrew DeLeva. Good swim here right now by Holbrow and Briner. They look good. So it looks like uh, Natick may have chosen to front end load the meat a little bit. So Hopkinton goes 1 2 right now in the 500 with Briner and Holbrow. The lever right now holding third position or fourth position. Be a good spot. This would be some good points pick up for Hopkinton if they can go 1, 2, and 4. But the lever. Not that far behind the Natick swimmer in lane three, so let's keep an eye on that. Hopkinson gets a sweep here. This becomes a meet, folks. 30 points down right now, but this becomes a meet if they can sweep this. So, a lot riding on the lever up there in lane six. As Hopkinson right now cruising center of the pool in lanes two and four and four. That's Holbrow and two. That's Brian or up top in six. That is the lever. The lever's got his eye on the swimmer in lane three. Keeping an eye on him if he can move himself in the third position. He does. 
have a good kick at the end, and he swims us a lot. Very strategic swimmer up there, Andrew DeLeva. Cole Brown grinding it out, continuing in the center of the pool as they come towards the halfway point. This flip turn will be lap number 10. Briner closest to us, good long strokes. Closest to us in lane two, Blake Briner. Holbrow takes a turn, lap 10. DeLeva starting to close the gap here in lane six. This could be interesting, ladies and gents. A sweep here by Hopkinton is going to add some points to the board. DeLeva's grinding. He knows it. He feels it. Good looking swim here by DeLeva as he's got it down to less than the body length. He's got to try to move himself in a third position. Coach Jeff Libby walking up and down keeping an eye on him as Holbrow continues to open his lead up in the center of the pool. A sweep will do them some good here. DeLeva at the turn, lap 11, almost even with the native swimmer. Andrew DeLeva could be the story of this race, folks. Up in lane six, grinding out. If he can get a third place finish here, that will be huge from a point perspective. Hopkinton needs a sweep. Take 13 points and take a little divot out of that 30-point lead right now. Center of the pool, Holbrow cruising, grinding. Blake Briner, lean two. Looks smooth. Nice strokes, good long strokes by Blake Briner. Hopkinton looking good so far as they're looking to take their first win of the meet here in the 500. Holbrow, center of the pool. DeLeva has moved himself into third position. Half a body length lead by Andrew DeLeva up in lane six. That looks good. He takes a turn on lap number 14. Almost out to a full body length lead. Holbrow, center of the pool, grinding it out. As he turns, lap number 16, he's got 100 to go. Four more laps, 100 yards for Holbrow and potentially Hopkinton's first win. Briner takes the turn. He's got four laps left. DeLeva has moved himself into third position, getting ready to take the turn and finish this race up. Holbrow getting a little bit of a kick here going. Center of the pool, he's feeling it. He wants the win. He's feeling the win. That's Holbrow taking the, taking the bell lap here. He's got two laps left. DeLeva down to three laps almost. Briner going to take the turn. He's got two laps left. Holbrow, center of the pool, getting cheered on by his teammates and encouraged by Colin Fine. After the 100 free, it's 76-34, but Hopkinton looking to take a chunk out of the lead. Holbrow cruises to the win in the center of the pool. Tyler Holbrow. Hopkinton's first win of the night. Great swim by the captain, senior, Tyler Holbrow. Or Zach Holbrow. I'm sorry, I do this all the time to these two. Zach Holbrow. Coming in second, Blake Briner. DeLeva battling it out up in lane six. He's looking across the pool. He knows it. He feels it. The team cheering him on. He's getting challenged in lane two. Is it, or lane three, is it enough? No, Hopkinton sweeps. Andrew DeLeva, the story of the night here. A gutsy third place finish in the 500. Hopkinton goes one, two, three. Zach Holbrow, Blake Briner, Andrew DeLeva. A 13 point pickup here by Hopkinton as they take a chunk out of the lead. This is going to get interesting as we have four more events left to go. Swimmers should be proud. Some gutsy swims there in the water. Holbrow looked good from start to finish. Just grinded the win out. Made it's got one more swimmer in the water. Finishing up. Round of applause by the audience and the swimmers. <laughs> gutsy swim in lane one by Needick. But gutsier swims by Hopkinton. Credit that young man in lane six. Andrew DeLeva, swim of the meet so far. Trailing by a couple of body lengths in the first 10 laps. He comes back with a great second half swim. Gets himself in the third position. Hopkinton goes one, two, three. That felt good. Now we go to the two free relay. 
Hopkinton will put relays, three of them out. He's going to put relays in lanes two, four, and six. In lane two, Brian DeLeva, Jack Brennan, Connor Murchie, Nick Paulus. In the center of the pool in lane four, it's going to be Colin Fine, Adichie Duda, Zach Holbrow, and Alex Maxukas. Zach Holbrow is going to come back after the 500. Swim in the two free relay, gutsy young man. Then we're going to have Kevin Goose, Sam Cody, Ray Lucas, and Blake Briner also coming back after the 500. Clean start, and they're off. Quick swims. Every swimmer swims 50 yards. Center of the pool, Natick. And that's Colin Fine battling. Center of the pool, Natick, lane three. Colin Fine chasing in lane five for lane four. Natick out to an early lead, body length lead, center of the pool. Colin Fine close behind. He's going to turn it over to Aditya Duda. Duda's in the water up top. That's Cody in the water. Jack Brennan goes in the water in lane two. Hopkinton sitting in second place right now. Challenging for third as well. Up top, that is Sam Cody with a good swim going. Center of the pool trying to hold on to second. That's Aditya Duda. Actually, it's not Aditya Duda. I think they switched again. That might be, uh, that might be Colin Fine. Or Blake Reiner. Coach does this to me. That's a DJ Duda in the water now. Natick has opened up a big lead in the center of the pool. It's going to come down to second, third, and fourth. Up top, that's Ray Lucas. Connor Murchie in lane two. Natick, center of the pool. They're going to take it in the center of the pool. DJ Duda is going to turn it over to Zach Holbrow. Going to be a race for, for, for second place. Holbrow after just finishing the 500. He's, let's see if he's got another 50 left in him. Made it cruising. It's going to be a race for second. Huffington's got a hold. Holbrow grinding once again. Swimming hard. Great swim, center of the pool. Nice swim. Huffington takes second. Valiant effort up top by the relay team of Goo, Cody, Lucas. And Briner, good swims all the way around. And that's Colin Murchie coming up and finishing up for the final relay. We head towards the backstroke. So the joy of the 500 short-lived as Natick goes one to three in the, uh, 200, in the 200 free relay. Good swims though by Hopkinton in the center of the pool. It could have been disastrous if they didn't take second place, so again, trying to close. We'll get a score update momentarily as my scores have been doing a really great job of keeping us apprised. Yep, and scoring update. Seventy-six thirty-four after the hundred free. So we'll get an update after the two free relay. We get ourselves ready for the one hundred back. We're going to have Jack Brennan in lean two, Tyler Fallon in lean four, and Fletch the catch Clark up in lean six. Let's see what Hawkington can do. We're down to three events. Hunter back, Hunter Breast, and four free relay. Clean start. Lean two, underwater. Nice. Jack Brennan, center of the pool. Tyler Fallon up top in lean six. Fletcher Clark. Need to get to another lead in the center of the pool. That wasn't an earthquake, don't worry. A little camera difficulty, but we're all good. Roger's okay. They take the turn at the first 50. Nadix in lean three and five, being chased hard by Jack Brennan, Tyler Fallon. Let's see if Jack Brennan pull himself in the second position. Made it out front, center of the pool. Brennan chasing, Fallon chasing, Fletcher Clark grinding it out in lane six. Take the turn, Nadek's got first and second. Hopkinton chasing, let's see what Brennan's got. Great time on the board today, let's see if he can grind something out. I don't think he's gonna be able to catch a Nadek swimming for second place. Nadek goes one, Nadek goes two. Hopkinson goes three, four. That'll be Brennan, Fallon, and then Nedek. Nedek will 
little bit too much depth for the boys tonight. Good swims all the way around as it's Lex Clark finishing up in lane six. We'll get a score update shortly. Quiet here. A little bit of dead air. In the third quarter, it's Colts still 21 zip over the Texans. Many of you probably watching that live. We're just getting the score updates here in the stands. So we've got playoff football right now and swimming. Cold, rainy day here at Keith Tech. I said before. Although it's not snow, it's been quiet this year. No cancellations of meets. We had that happen a couple of years ago with a lot of snow. Throws a monkey wrench into the schedule. So, so far, so good for the Hopkinton Hillers. Hiller swim, swim team right now, three and one in the TVL. The boys will swim a couple of individual meets. Swam earlier in the year uh, against, I think, uh, Framingham. as we get ready for the 100 breaststroke. Lane two, that's with Tesh Rajanigan, center of the pool, Alex Matsukas. Up top, that's Pierce Farrell. Center of the pool, Matsukas for Tesh Rajanigan. Lane two, Pierce Farrell, closest to us. Or up top, rather, in lane six. It's a three-man race right now between Natick and Matsukas. Matsukas grinding. Take the turn. Uh, a little slow off the wall. He's got to get off that wall a little quicker. Great pull out, though. Matsukas chasing, currently holding second place. Chasing first. Two, and Matsukas has got for the last 50, for the last uh, 25. One more lap left to go. That's Rajan again in lane two. Trying to move himself in the fifth, fourth position. Matsukas. Matsukas trying to chase down the Natick swimmers. Let's see what he's got left. Natick is in first and third. Lane three. Second lane five. It's going to go one to Natick with a nice swim. Third place, Matsukas. Natick will take fourth. Tesh again will take fifth place. And up top, that's Pierce Farrell, his first shot at the 100 breast stroke. That will bring us to the final event this evening. This has all been in the record books, folks. Looks like this is going to be a Natick win tonight. Hopkinton's put up a good fight. A little bit of life there at the 500 free, highlight of the evening, the sweep of the 500 free. With a gutsy swim by Andrew DeLeva, take third place after trailing for half of the race. Moved himself in the third, and a win by Holbrow and a second by Briner. So Hopkinton's gonna put two relays out here in uh, lane two, Tyler Holbrow, Zach Holbrow, Andrew DeLeva, Kevin Gu, center of the pool, Colin Fine, DJ Ditta, Blake Briner, Alex Matsukas. Matsukas going back to back after the 100, after the, uh, the 100 breaststroke hops right out of the water, gets himself ready to anchor the relay. So good swim by the boys tonight. They look strong. Mid-season right now. So you get ready. See if we can get a score update before we go into the final event. But unfortunately, this looks like this is going to be all native tonight. Four by 100 free relay. Each swimmer swimming 100 yards in the pool. Four swimmers out. Lane two, Tyler Holbrow up top in the center of the pool. That's Colin Fine. Fine with the long strokes. 
So we do have a score update. Natick looks like they will win this 169 after the breaststroke. So going into the final, this is just for pride and glory at this point. Points aren't going to do much to move this or change the outcome, but Hawkinton looking strong in lanes two and four, trailing Natick in the center of pool just slightly. That is Tyler Holbrow and Colin Fine, four by 100. This is about bragging rights. Four swimmers, 103. Tyler Holbrow is going to turn it over to his brother, senior captain Zach Holbrow. Colin Fine, senior captain, will turn it over to Aditya Dutta in the center of the pool. So that is Holbrow, Tyler in lane two, Fine, Colin in the lane four. Going in the water now, Aditya Dutta up top, and that is Zach Holbrow. Natick opening up a lead in the center of the pool. Zach Holbrow giving chase. Aditya Duda looks strong in the center of the pool. Hopkinton currently sitting in second and third. Next up on the board, we get Andrew DeLeva. He's going to be in lane two and Blake Reiner. A lot of tight swims by these guys as they just finished a couple of, couple of long swims. Holbrow takes a turn. Aditya Duda holding on to second place, being chased down by teammate Zach Holbrow. As Natick sits in the middle of the pool with half a, half a lap lead. Hopkinton probably won't catch them, although it has been done once before. We'll see what the boys have. Duda and Holbrow. Zach. Duda and Zach as Natick puts their fourth swimmer into the water. Hopkinton clearly in second and third. That's Andrew DeLeva in lane two. Blake Briner up in the center of the pool in lane, three, lane uh, four. Hawkinson swimmers in two and four. Natick opening up their lead, not quite a full lap. They look strong in the center of the pool. Opening up for Hopkinson, Blake Briner, increasing the lead over teammate Andrew DeLeva just a little bit. Hopkinson to leans two and four, sitting right now in positions two and three. Natick cruising in the center of the pool. They're gonna put their anchor man into the pool right now. Natick with almost a full length lead. Anchor man's in. That's not Ron Burgundy, that's the anchor man. Center of the pool, Briner bringing it in. He's gonna turn it over to Alex Matsukas, who just got out of the water for the 100 breaststroke. He's gonna be tired, let's see what he's got. Nice start by Matsukas. Kevin Gu, freshman, he's gonna anchor for the Hopkinton relay in lean two. So we've got Gu in two and Matt Sukis in four. Maybe it's gonna hang on right now. They're in the center of the pool in lane three. They should cruise to victory in 400 free. She's just gonna add some points to their lead. Center of the pool, Matt Sukis with a strong swim after a 100 breaststroke just finished up. And that's Kevin Gu, freshman swimmer. Seeing what he can do in lane two. What can Gu do in lane two? Center of the pool, Matsukis. He looks a little tired. He just finished a uh, 100 breaststroke. Kicking it in. He's going to take second place. Gu in lane two. He's going to swim in and hold on to third position. Trying to be chased down by Natick up in lane. Five, they made it interesting, but no, Google hold on by two body lengths. Nate finishes up in lane five. Tried to chase Hopkinson down, but to no avail. This one's in the record books, folks, as Nate finishes up in lane one. Hopkinson goes two, three in the final event of the night, the four by 100 free relay. It will not be enough, but a good showing by the Hopkinson boys tonight. Nice swims. Natick just a little bit too much in the pool. Got out to an early start. <coughs> Never looked back. Jumped out early like Indianapolis has done against Houston. Got out to an early lead. They won the, the first event. Took first and second in the first relays and set the tone for the meet. Highlight of the night tonight again. Once again, the 500 freestyle. Sweep by Hopkinton swimmers Zach Holbrow, Blake Briner, and Andrew DeLeva.
great showing on the board tonight by Jack Brennan, who was also in the pool for several relays and a few individual events as well. Jack Brennan taken second. Some other nice swims. Matsukis nicely done in the breaststroke. Colin Fine back in the pool. Good to see the captain of Dolfino back in the pool. He's been out for a little while, had stitches. But he's back in, getting back into mid-season form. So we're going to wait for the cheers and final score, and then we're going to sign off here. Topkinton will put one in the loss column, but a good swim, good group tonight. Natick swimmers strong, look good. Just the hillers, no up the pool, down the pool, nothing like that. They're just going to shake hands. Let's see what Natick does. We'll get a little bit of hand shaking. See if we can get a final score. Yep, we do have a cheer. Potato chip on the Hopkins inside. Let's see what Nadek's got to counter with. I didn't really pick that up, but I heard Fritos, Fritos, small and something. So these guys are going to shake hands and once again pass every germ known to man back and forth to one another. No wonder there's a lot of sickness going around right now as these guys shake hands and congratulate themselves. A lot of smiles, good swims, a lot to be proud of by the Hopkinton team tonight. Good showing on the boards, good showing in the pool. Uh, doing some sort of a man hug down there, a man shake down there. Forearm man shake. Taking a little bit longer as the boys sort of finish it up. Final score here. Natick 100, Hopkinton 69. Good swims all the way around. We're going to sign off. Some more football tomorrow. Raj, thanks for everything on the camera tonight. Thank you, Kevin. <laughs> Say good night, Raj. Good night to everybody. Oh, we got him. Raj Rajan again on the camera. Kevin Legassi on the announcing. We will see you on Monday night for the final home meet for Hopkinton Hiller Swimming. Did you all a good weekend and a good evening as we wrap it up.